Hey guys, Knife Detector here. Guess what? The knife that you see in this sheath right here, guys, it is about as rare as Sasquatch. It's about as rare as Bigfoot. It's about as rare as a unicorn. I probably would have never held one of these in my entire life had it not been for my friend that I know. And she told me that her daddy has a knife. So I'm about to let you hear the audio. Uh from my friend who was interviewing her daddy and going to tell you how he got this knife. While I take it out of the sheath, we're going to go ahead and put that audio on. So check out the audio. Then we're going to talk about the knife, guys. Okay. I'm recording this conversation. And Your name is Mr. Arellano. You bought the knife in a garage sale. Frank Arellano. Mr. Frank Arellano. You bought the knife in a garage sale. Continue. And that uh, I looked on the case for the button is to close the, the knife uh -huh. sheath. Uh -huh. It's got two axes, which means it's double tempered, okay. according to Google. According to Google. Uh, and I don't think I ever sharpened, the knife has ever been sharpened. It's never been sharpened by you? By me or anybody. The previous ever. owner? Okay, no, 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 it doesn't look like it's ever been sharpened. Yeah. Okay, and then? And that, uh, I'd like to know what year it was made. You if would like possible, to know what year? If possible. If possible, okay, what else? And, uh. I think I bought it for 10 bucks. And you think you bought it for $10. Okay. Anything else you would like to add? That's it. That's it. All right. I'll send this information. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys. Check this out. This is a case 551. Now, I did not know exactly what this was. And I had a feeling it was something special when Alma sent me a picture Um and I had a feeling that it was something very rare. And I was right. So I reached out to some of my bros out there in Knifeland. Reached out to Rick Jarvis, the warthog. Reached out to uh, Gizmo Carr. Uh, reached out to a couple of others asking, Hey, y'all guys know what this is? Please help me out. And they came through. Uh, uh, they came through. My friends came through. Uh, Rick sent me some pictures of one that he saw in an auction house. Uh, and then uh, that took me down a rabbit hole, and I started looking for what this was. And this is a Case 551 hunting knife. So check this out. This opens up right here. Now you notice how the C in the case is kind of slanted that way? Kind of like a lazy C. See that? That C right there puts this knife at around... 1920 to 1939. And a big thanks to Rick for sending me that data on that picture you just saw. Um, it doesn't have any number designations because back then they weren't using numbers on the tank stamps. Okay? Um, so the way that the C is made tells you what this is which is interesting because the button on this one on this sheath uh is for like another year this sheath might actually be from the from maybe the 40s 50s or something like that this sheath uh because the c is slightly different it's got the line going all the way through it whereas this one just has the c right there now it could be that this did have that line going all the way through it and it just rubbed off over the years from use. Now, if it does have that line on the bottom, that might put it at another designation. And I'm kind of seeing a vague number line right there on the bottom. Like it used to have that same line. Makes sense. This is probably the original sheath. That's the feeling I get. But look at this beautiful knife. Before we investigate that a little further, look at this beautiful knife. And if you want to know how much this is worth, stick to the end of the video. You're not going to believe it. This is easily the most expensive knife I have ever touched in my life, amigos. Okay, um, look at that beautiful stag. Where are you going to find stag as beautiful as that? Um, this is clearly uh, a liner lock with brass liners. And check out the way this liner lock works. You know, you have to push that in to depress the knife. And the knife goes all the way down. And it's got kind of like a double liner lock on each side to hold it in place. It's just a thing of beauty. Um, with a knife like this, you can use it the short blade if you've got a small job. Or you can use the long blade if you need something bigger. 
Um, it's got a beautiful mirror polish on it right here. It's just a lovely, lovely. Look at the other side of that stag, right? Those look like nickel silver pins, I think. Um, they were getting a little bit of patina, as you can see right there. I wiped some of that off. Um, also the brass. Just a lovely, lovely knife. Um, it's just gorgeous. And you can tell it has been used. Somebody used this knife, but they loved it. They loved it so much that they kept it safe and hidden for years until my friend's dad found this at a yard sale. Actually, it was more of an estate sale. I keep telling you guys, you got to check out yard sales. You got to check out these estate sales. I mean, it goes because that's where the action's at, right? So check this out. You depress this in, push it in and uh, pull it down carefully. It is still very sharp. In you go, just like that. And now you have a small knife. It kind of looks like a little bit of a Scandinavian knife or a boot knife, just like that, right? And let's take a look at this sheath. This sheath is a belt sheath, standard belt sheath right here, but I don't doubt this could also be used as a boot knife. Um, just lovely, lovely basket weave pattern on this sheath and uh, just gorgeous. This bun has turned around over the years, probably from use. Um, and look at that snap. That's the old style snap right there. Uh, definitely the original sheath. This has gotten a lot of use. See right there, it's got a little cut right there on the sheath. And that's probably because there's a gentleman that probably used this on, their, on his belt quite often. Uh, man, the story this knife can tell. But I wanted to give you a little piece of that story. That's why I wanted to share that audio with you, amigos. So how much is this beautiful, beautiful knife worth? Hmm, let's see. First off, let's take a look at that other picture that Rick sent me. And let's see uh, if we can date the one with the line. Because I have a feeling that there was a line down there at the bottom. But it just got worn off with time through the years. Um, put a little bit of oil to clean it. So, there we go. I have a feeling that it got worn off. I think there used to be a line down there. Just like the line you see here on the sheath. I believe that it used to have that. So, let's see if we can date that, guys. Okay, amigos. So, as you can see from that picture... Um, and, and I went ahead and I took a real close look at this bun and it says case and that line goes all the way on the bottom. It says case tested XX right here in the button. Now it's not just the big C like we thought. And then the, the kind of like the, the weird, uh, leaf shaped C, but there was a line there probably at one time is my best guess. And probably at one time it did say case tested. It's just that with use, it wore off after a while with use. Because with something like this, like a liner lock, it is uh, scratching right up against the bolster. And that happens regularly. And the way this is made, you can't even hardly look underneath there. It's just so hidden, right? And that's just the way it's made. But it looks like there was a line there once upon a time. So because of that, I'm changing my initial estimation that this knife is not from 1920 to 1939. Uh, I believe this knife was made um, somewhere 1932 to 1940. But still, you're talking about a knife that's about 100 years old, gorgeous knife. Okay, if you stuck around this far, you wanna know how much this thing is worth? Uh, after doing some poking around, I've seen offers on one of these for like $700 in similar condition. I saw one of these that was being sold with three of these sheaths, not just one, but three for $1,300. Of course, the sheath itself is probably worth money too. So uh, my best guesstimate on something like this with the use that it has, which is minimal really, um, would be somewhere around $1,000 for this knife. Maybe even 1000 to 1200 would be my best estimate, amigos. Tell me what you think. If you got another... another uh, estimation of how much this is worth put it in the comments because i know that my friend alma and uh her daddy are interested in knowing how much this is worth my best guess is between a thousand and twelve hundred uh you let me know guys tell me amigos what do you think and i tell you what that's it for another edition of knife detector you guys have a blessed blessed day friends um these treasures are out there 
they're out there for you guys to find and enjoy. It's a scavenger hunt. Live your life. Enjoy what you love. And if you love sharp things, get out there and detect amigos.